Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm making this video today to tell you about an up and coming project that I'll be working on. And this project might take me a little while to do. Um, but anyway, let me tell you why I'm doing this project first. Um, basically, as you can see here, you know, I normally have two solar stands and you know solar panels everywhere else. But a few weeks back we were getting a predicted hurricane, uh, which was Irene, uh, predicted to be a category three or four. So that means the you know, winds would be way over 100 miles an hour. And even though I, I built these stands, I have no idea how much wind they can take. So, and I also took down all the, uh, let's see if you can see the shed, all the turbines and everything. So anyway, um, because I was uh, afraid that everything would be destroyed, I basically I made sure all the battery banks were charged first and took down all my solar panels. Well, I did design the solar stands to, uh, you know, come apart fairly easy, but I'd never done it. And these things have been up for um, probably about three years. So I went to take down the solar panels, and it literally took me about two and a half hours plus to get them all down. And it was way harder than I re remember, um, but they did come down. And fortunately for us, uh, by the time it reached uh, North Carolina, you know, that's where we live. It was a uh, category one. And we didn't get it too bad because we were about two hours uh, in from the coast. Uh, but the, our coast got it pretty bad. And, you know, upwards also got it pretty bad. Um, so, anyway, this did remind me of an old project that I had thought about quite a while ago about putting basically solar panels in the ground. And when they're in the up position, you know, they'll charge because they'll be above ground. And when uh, you have a threat of a tornado, which would be a quick one, you know, if you're home, you could uh, run outside and put them down. But um, tornado, hurricane, which gives you, you know, usually a few days notice. You know, typhoon, um, maybe tsunami, but they don't give you much time either. So anyway, you would put them in the ground. Uh, by releasing basically a, a handle and they'll be safe and then you know when the threat passes you can just bring them back out so that's what I'll be showing you uh, basically I'm going to do a small scale example basically of how I believe this is going to work and um, hopefully like I said I'll uh, be able to get to this project fairly soon and uh, show you guys that the full scale and see what that looks like. I, I think it's going to be a pretty cool project. Okay, so on my uh, small scale here, you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit. Um, basically, I'm going to start with my floor vent here, and representing uh, the hole in the ground that I uh, dug up. So, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and dig a hole in the ground. And basically, I'm thinking maybe two feet, three feet, I'm not exactly sure how deep I'm going to go with it. And uh, the next thing I'm going to need is uh, basically, well, to figure out how wide I want it. And I'm going to use this today. Um, this is just going to represent two, uh, like 100 watt or 225 watt solar panels. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use one or two, but for this, I'm going to use two. And um, the next thing I'm going to need which I'm thinking this is probably what I'm going to use, is a two-ton floor jack. And basically, if you have no idea what a two-ton floor jack is, and I don't actually have one to show you yet, but it's basically, you know, for garages or whatever. And, um, you, you know, it's got wheels on it. You slide it underneath your car, truck, whatever. And on this end, there's a handle, so you, you know, uh, manipulate the handle, and it just uh, raises up, uh, you know, obviously two tons worth of vehicle. And then when you're done with it, you just twist the handle and it goes back down to its closed position. So what I'm thinking is, uh, after I uh, dug a hole, I'm going to take and build a box in the hole. And the box is basically going to be built out of the plastic planks. They look just like a, basically, um, you know, wood. They they put little wood designs on there, but and they're they're pretty thick and very durable. 
So I guess you just call it the plastic wood or whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm going to make a, make a box out of that, you know, put that in the ground, and then somehow take the, the floor jack, put that in there, and attach these to the floor jack. So uh, to raise them up, you would go ahead and twist the handle clockwise to the right and raise them up. And obviously it would be facing south. So you have these up, you know, most of the time, and they're just charging. And let's say you have a, a hurricane coming or a typhoon or, you know, whatever. If you're quick enough, a tornado is coming. Uh, basically, you would, you know, run outside, uh, turn the handle counterclockwise. I think it's counterclockwise. Anyway, and then they'll just uh, go back into the ground and they should be safe. And I will probably be using um, factory built solar panels on this one uh, because they're very watertight. I've seen videos where people took their solar panels and put them in like a lake and they were just fine, you know, after a while they pulled them out and they were just fine. They're, they're sealed really well. I don't think that my homemade ones would hang in there, you know, being submerged underwater. So, um, anyway, I was thinking once they're in, you know, the ground, per se, I can get that underneath the carpet without falling down. Anyway, um, I was thinking of the old style desk that, I, you know, I don't really see them anymore, but they have the, the fronts where you pull down and there are a bunch, a bunch of slats of wood and they just, you know, come across and that would cover up the top and it would be a good shelter for let's say uh, whatever you know a neighbor's trash can flying across the yard or, or whatnot so they would be you know safe underground and then when the threat's gone you just go ahead and turn the handle to the right and manually just bring it back up and then everything would be cool and I was thinking this is probably really stretching it but um, if if I get time, I think it'd be cool to uh, get an app created um, to where if it sensed there was some uh, you know really bad weather in your area, you know you could either hit that app or you know the app would automatically take your solar panels and just put them in the ground and uh, then be out of harm's way. So that's an upcoming project that I'll be working on, you know, obviously big scale. And um, we'll see how it goes, but I think it's it should be uh, really cool. And, you know, they'll be out of the way. And because putting those solar panels back together in those stands, it's a pain. It's, it's very time consuming. And uh, it'd be nice not to have to take them down if, you know, really get, you know, something really bad is going to happen. And then put them back up and take them down, put them back up. So anyway, I appreciate you watching this video as always. Take care. And God bless.